Well, certainly there's a lot of excitement about the Ristaplan program. So this is the SMA small molecule that I mentioned where we're able to treat patients orally and therefore deliver the medicine to a variety of tissues, including bone, muscle, liver, and other tissues so that we can treat the patient very, very comprehensively. The data here are very, very strong. We've shown benefits not only in type 1 SMA patients, but also type 2 and 3 SMA patients. And so the picture for that product is really emerging to be very favorable in providing another treatment option to patients with SMA that may actually be very additive to available therapies that patients can take today and provide a more comprehensive treatment for those patients. That, that's a very one very exciting program. Uh, we'll also be bringing a program into the clinic this year in the small molecule splicing platform for familial dysautonomia. So that's a very exciting new technology that we're, we'll be, uh, we've identified a development candidate and we'll be beginning clinical trials uh, for later. And then finally, the gene therapy platform with the AADC program moving forward will be advancing to a BLA, as I mentioned, uh, later this year with the expectation that we'll have commercial launch in the United States and elsewhere in 2020. And this is really a transformative gene therapy for patients with this very rare disease that as we've shown through extensive clinical uh, study that it achieves meaningful benefits for these patients and also in, can extend their lifespan as well.